place. So while we screw everything up, Mr. D's getting on with our supper. It's in here and I'm looking forward to that curry that's got my name on it. at long last um, restrictions are starting to ease not perfect but they're starting to ease and we can finally go off so um, we're planning to go off aren't we Bev? totally no the only downside to going off is we've got a few little jobs we want to tidy up before we do um, one of them is putting electrics into the boat and we've, we've put new electrics in under here so we now have some mood lighting, might be able to see that. Uh, but I haven't got it on my side, so um, I've got the uh, uh, light all here, so I've just got to finish that off. Yep, the um, rear cabin is a complete nightmare. And also we've done some maintenance on the water lock, no particular reason, there was no problem with it. I just wanted to seat the brackets slightly differently. We have to test that before we go off because we don't leave an essential system like the engine untested before we leave dock so we'll get that checked out um, another thing is the anchor um, we were inspecting the anchor and both Beverly and I are not happy with one of our shackles um, so we've bought a new shackle for that so we need to replace that don't we and we're also going to pull the entire anchor chain out and inspect every single link in it just to make sure that it's okay yeah so lots and lots of little jobs to do, um, provisioning the bow, all that kind of stuff, and then hopefully, <laughs> hopefully we can we'll actually go on a trip, yay! And sadly for us, the forecast for the weekend, and I think by now most people know my views and forecasts, but the forecast for the weekend is not particularly good. So the trip that we were planning on doing, we might be put back a few days, let the storm pass, and we'll just do a local trip instead. But you know we're gonna go out and we're gonna do what we can but yeah it's time to get out there it's time to get back in the saddle again <laughs> the glamorous yachting lifestyle yet Conti again continues i mean so you had the thoughts after however many weeks it's been now we would be no longer using the bucket to do my washing but they're still not allowed to go into the laundrette it's just ridiculous but there you go well there is a laundrette um a dry cleaners open now which is at least the start you think we should dry clean our underwear no <laughs> could you imagine becoming out starched and solid <laughs> <laughs> And I, after yesterday, um, sorting out, um, having to move all the stuff because we had that much metal in round the flux compass that we moved it all away, and we realized that our back cabin is just a nightmare. So, we're going to sort out the back cabin and we're going to finish off all the jobs that we seem to have got accumulated in there that are not quite finished. So let's just get through that and get it done. Well, I've brought out our very first thing and it is some more lighting for underneath the uh, cupboards. Oh dear, if only with more light under here we could see better. <laughs> Hopefully we'll have some in a bit. There. Oh, golly. Oh, this is a little job Bev's been doing. Bit of varnishing. Hooray! My little bit of wood is now in place just down here. It just makes that space a little bit bigger. And just behind it is some gloves that's to one of our kind um, sailing Argo. Sailing Argo. Sailing Argo. Yeah, knitted for us. And aren't they beautiful? They're gorgeous. 
just need to wait till the winter time. Yeah, that's true. Doesn't that look the piece now that Beverly's uh, sorted that out? It just means I can we can actually put a bit more stuff in there. And that, quite frankly, is great. Now, just in case you haven't guessed it, this is what we class as a boat tidy on Salty Lass. Yes, every single surface has now got something on. <laughs> It's absolutely disgraceful. But on the good point, on the good uh, side, what's it looking like in here, Bev? It's getting there. <laughs> Just need a bit more and it'll be perfect. Uh, yes, yeah, that black blob, by the way, is Beverly. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. There we are. Let me just see. Put the light on. Oh, oh, oh there oh. she is. She's in there somewhere. <laughs> She's hiding in the troll. But yeah, the back berth is actually starting to look like it's tidy. Yeah. Um, but the rest of the boat looks like a bomb has hit it. Yeah, well, crisis at a time. Yeah, so that's what Bev says. One crisis at a time. So this is where I'm sitting. You might want to be somewhere I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> this is where I'm sitting. I've got my sewing machine out and I'm getting on with stuff. Yeah, so this is a scarf I've made Beverly, looking quite good. And this is a whole load of fabric that I just had and I decided I'd make something out of it. No idea what it's going to be, but it's going to be crazy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at you! Yeah, we've just made you a new bandana. You're a salty yes. dog. Yeah. You're a sea dog. Yes, a new bandana for you, sweetheart. That'll keep the chill off your neck, won't it? <laughs> yeah. So, look at you sporting a nice new bandana. <laughs> and you too, but whatever. So, what we've done is, as you saw, we had some... Thank you, Wind. As you saw, we had some um, things here to line tidies that we'd made ourselves, and they've, they've gone. The UV rays have got them and things, so... Um, the cornflakes packet is doubling up as a template and uh, it fits very nicely into this space here. And we have bought ourselves some of these little hook things. And what's going to happen with them is we're going to position them here and here and another one here and here. And they have little, they have little loops on them that go inside. And then the lines come through and you simply just hook that up over the top. Oh, so exciting. Yeah. It's just one of the many jobs that we've got in the back berth that we haven't finished, isn't it, Bev? It's getting done today. More holes than Salty Lass, sadly. Oh, OK. Fair Look enough. Look at those. Aren't they gorgeous? Yep. Looks much tidier now and that's what we wanted. Oh, look, he's got a fancy headscarf. <laughs> it's... Uh, Exo the dog. <laughs> Woof! <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah, I made a headscarf for Exo. Anyway. You made a bandana or. A what? bandana. It's like a little. Kerchief. Kerchief for yeah. uh, the dog. So uh, that's who's got as well. And he looks so stylish. Oh, absolutely cracking. Anyway, the other thing I've been doing downstairs is because Beverly was complaining about wear on um, her nylon lines. So I've just made this out of a bit of jean fabric. So I've got um, hooks on that side, um, the other Velcro on that side. And the plan is, there you go. And then she can have a rope inside and, I can, and she can just put it on. So hopefully that will sort out Beverly's um, wear problem on her ropes. The reason we're up front is this shackle here. And as you can see, it looks horribly rusted. So I'm just going to see if I can take it off with a pair of vice grips. Otherwise, it's an angle grinder for this. The other shackle up here looks a little worse for wear, but still seems serviceable. So we're just going to see. We have replacement shackles that we've ordered up and they're going on. It's as simple as that. We're not, this is not a hum ho, shall we do it thing. It's happening. We're taking them off and brand new ones are going in because at the end of the day, this is what connects the boat to the anchor, and I'm not taking a chance with it, and that's the end of it. No discussion required. Oh, 
Well, somewhere up there is Beverly, and uh, she's just been pulling out our chain because uh, it's time for chain inspection. I said to make it easier, put your chains together, and then you can do the lot together. <laughs> Oh, well, under that basis, wouldn't be wise to quadruple the chain. I suppose that's true. So we've got some Loctite on the threads, and it's Kiss and I getting the whole thing on. Just in case we just get the threads lined up. Yeah, I'm just gonna. There we go. Well, Beverly's um, shackles um, look well seized to me. So that's all sorted, but I, look at these, look how faded they have got. So I'm going to uh, sort out all our little markers because I can't read them. <sighs> well, that's my uh, pretty pictures all done. And I think I explained it last time. Bev and I used to be in computers, which is why we were using binary colour coding on our... Um, anchor uh, anchor um, markers markers but um, I'm quite pleased that they've uh, lasted um, the time really so um, happy days well it might not be a brown paper package but it's certainly wrapped up with a lot of string so uh, one of our friends has sent us this and uh, you know, I have to say, you've got to just love people who know you well and they say, I've got one of these, do you want it? And I'm going, yeah, I love that. So what's in the mystery package? Well, we're not too sure. It could be uh, a cruising shoot, a spinnaker or a um, asymmetric. But uh, it's one of them. But the first challenge is actually to manage to open it. Absolutely, and I think some uh, knife will have to come out um, because uh, it's... Um... I'll go get you one and I'll get some coffee on the go. That sounds like a perfect idea. Coffee and uh, and uh, prezzies. Oh, what more can we ask for? Chocolate. Oh, no. Chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> so what is it? I still haven't decided, but it's certainly big enough. <laughs> but look at the amount of... Um, <laughs> That's just all sellotape and string, so um, let's go and um, hoist it up and see what the heck it is. We've decided it was spinnaker, but mainly because it had the word spinnaker written on the back. But also when we hoisted it, we could see that the stitching was symmetrical. Yeah, uh, but like Bev says, uh, the stitching is symmetrical. So let's uh, see what she looks like. Go on. Film. I am, I'm doing my best. <laughs> I'm just gonna see how much. No, no, it's alright, I can hold it. You sure about that? Yeah, I'm positive. You absolutely, absolutely sure you're not gonna be taken <laughs> off the boat sideways? was her fear that it wasn't going to be big enough for us. Shall but we get this down before it blows you off the boat? <laughs> Just say yes. Yeah. Right. Obviously you need to be a... What? There you go. It's feeling the other way now. It's, just... <laughs> it's back in. <laughs> it's back in now. But <sighs> it might act as a cruising chute for us. We'll give it a go as a cruising chute. It is short for our boat because yeah, that's, about... that's the bottom of our... That's the bottom of the sail. And... Oh shit, I'm off! <laughs> 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 Whoa! <laughs> you off then, Bev? Pretty bloody much. Yeah, look at this. <laughs> Let's caps it, right? Oh, dudes, I think it's time to bring it down. I bring this with us. Oh, dudes, <laughs> but it looks great. Wow. And uh, for something that's free, we're going to give it a go. For something that's free, it's worth every penny we paid for it. Right, say it again, Bev. For something that's free, it's worth every penny we paid for it. <laughs>
<laughs> Absolutely. And Salty Lads, we like to bring you the full picture of what uh, the cruising life is like from um, washing your clothes on the... Um, in a bucket. In a bucket. Yeah. To having this fantastic curry on your in your cockpit and just having a nice glass of wine. You have so many different variety of things from... Like today we did some wiring and Bev fixed the fender step today and so you've got a lot of things that just aren't going right but then you can sit out on your aft deck and just okay there's no sunshine but what the heck there's some fantastic food and there's some good wine and and that's the full picture of cruising and you know what what you might even be in focus because I don't have my glasses on. <laughs> we can always hope. Mm.